Yasukuni Shrine is a famous Shinto shrine and a war memorial in the heart of Tokyo. It is also one of the most controversial tourist spots in Japan. In today's video, we pay a visit to the Yasukuni Shrine. Located in Chiyoda, Tokyo, the Yasukuni Shrine is primarily a Shinto shrine built in 1869 to commemorate the people who died in service of Japan during various wars. In this aspect, it is quite like any other war memorials built in various countries. But what makes this unique is the fact, that the shrine is a fully functional religious institution, and various festivals and rituals are conducted at this site every year. Apart from the shrine, the extended compound encompasses a historical museum, several statues, war carvings, and a monument for Justice Radha B. Nord Pal. We will talk a bit more about this gentleman, a bit later in the video. As each person who died in service of Japan is enshrined here as a deity, the shrine officially has almost 2.5 million deities. Apart from the soldiers who died in the wars, this also includes the women and children who died while acting as nurses, caregivers, or support staff during these wars. Additionally, animals such as horses, dogs, and messenger pigeons who also died during this war are considered deities here. Among these deities, there are about 1,000 persons that have been convicted as war criminals by the World War II War Crimes Tribunal. This is the root of the many controversies surrounding this shrine. Every time a major politician or dignitary visits the shrine, or participates in any ritual here, the countries that were affected by Japan's occupation during the war, protest vehemently. The Yasukuni Shrine Precinct has two sections, the Outer Gardens, and the inner section that houses the main shrine. In the precinct, there are several gates that lead the visitors towards the main shrine. In the outer garden section, the visitors can see the Sakura Tuban, which is a collection of ceramic tiles with a cherry blossom motif. There is one ceramic tile for each of the regions of Japan. These tiles are beautifully crafted and look brilliant especially in the evening when the lights come on. Another interesting spot in this section is the, Soul Comforting Spring. This monument is dedicated to those who died of thirst during the wars. The sculpture is an abstract representation of a mother pouring water to her children at battle. The inner section of the Yasukuni Shrine Precinct houses the Yushukan Museum which is a Japanese war history museum covering from ancient times till modern times. Visitors can see exhibits from different eras including locomotives, fighter planes, and artillery. Apart from these, the museum also displays the various possessions of the deities including personal memorabilia, articles of daily use such as pens and diaries, and letters bent to dear ones. Thus, one can experience not only the day-to-day -day life of these deities, but also their mental state during these wars. Just outside the museum, there are statue memorials for the horses, dogs, and carrier pigeons which were also killed during these wars. Here, the Japanese government established a special monument, to honor Justice Radha B. Nord Pal in 2005. Justice Pal was India's representative to the International Military Tribunal. Amongst all the judges of this tribunal, deciding the fate of the Japanese leaders for war crimes during World War II. He was the only judge who found the defendants, not guilty. Why did he do so? Let's go a bit into the details of this interesting story. After Japan surrendered in 1945, the Allied powers, led by the United States, established the International Military Tribunal for the Far East. This tribunal also known as, the Tokyo Trial, was convened to try the Japanese leaders for crimes against peace and other war crimes. This tribunal consisted of judges from the Allied forces such as the US, UK, Soviet Union, France, Canada, Netherlands, along with three Asian countries, China, Philippines, and India. Justice Pal represented India. Justice Pal returned a not guilty verdict against the Japanese leadership. He felt that the whole tribunal was set up with a spirit of retribution, and victor's justice instead of providing, true impartial justice to the defendants. 
While acknowledging the crimes committed by the Japanese army during the war, Pal pointed out many flaws in the workings of the tribunal and how the verdict was passed. Starting from the lack of judges from the losing sides, to the lack of investigation into the US's provocation, leading to Japan's attacks on Pearl Harbor. Additionally, the case was built strongly on hearsay evidence without concrete proof. Finally, the tribunal did not consider other contributing aspects of World War II, including Western colonialism and the use of atom bombs by the United States, killing millions of innocent civilians during the war. Justice Pal concluded that this act was at least equal to if not more than the war crimes committed by the Japanese. Recently, a four-part miniseries that depicts the Tokyo trial, was released on NHK and is also available on platforms such as Netflix. In this series, late actor Ria Fine Khan plays the role of Justice Pal. If you are interested in the fascinating story of Justice Pal, don't forget to check out this miniseries. Though a bit controversial, the Yasukuni Shrine is one of the must-visit tourist destinations in Tokyo. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know your views in the comments section. Don't forget to support us by clicking like and subscribing to our channel.